Welcome back, the Field of Fear Season 2 Field Pass has officially dropped. This was a early drop, a 10.30 a.m. Eastern drop. It looks like every Field Pass is going to drop at this time, but we never know. Field Passes usually drop at 4 p.m. Eastern, but this is nice. We got an early head start on this. So far, it looks like there's no mess-ups by EA. Everything's updated and everything's running smooth, and that's what I heard. This is my first look at everything. And also a whole entire breakdown for the Field of Fear and Field Pass. So let's get straight into it. October is here. Halloween is here. And yeah, we got Ray Lewis, Darren Waller. Honestly, those are probably the best two players in this drop. I know there's other players also throughout the Field Pass and stuff. I got to check through and look through at all that. This is going to be very interesting. So yeah, the second Matt NFL Mobile Season Field of Fear has arrived. Earned Field Pass points through the Field of Fear specific goals and daily goals to progress through the milestones complete challenges on the field of fear journey for first win rewards trade players released during season two for field of fear exclusive 159 overall iconic marvel ray lewis now season two for the fear ends 11 2 at 10 30 a.m eastern we have like about four weeks to grind the season two field pass and all that stuff you guys should be able to go ahead and fly through the free to play one towards the end of the uh you know the date that it has so we got the vip vip is usually 30 dollars for all that stuff we gotta check the store as well but let's continue i heard packs were updated and we get a 113 plus look at that that was updated as well that's fantastic let's go so let's go ahead and collect the 113 plus i'm hoping to get one of the 117 headliners and or 119 campus heroes that's really what i want if i get a 113 it's okay but i hope i don't have that 113 so here we go in three two one oh my god i'll take that i got one of the team of the week limited time players uh Gavante turpin that is actually pretty insane if i did complete it i could have actually got well no i couldn't get the foil because i think that trade foil trade is gone for this one but hey i'll take it it is a 117 it's not that bad it will update the special team which is fantastic that's good news and look at that field of fear art right there if we can go back to the grand gardens because it's still here we got our daily goals here looking good oh we get more daily goals like points and yep these are active on day one that's fantastic news okay so before i do that i want to update the team real fast on special teams let's best line up this Okay, 104 special team. I'll take that for sure. 117 right there. Not too bad. We'll take it. It updated the team, so it's pretty good. Now let's go to play now. This is just like how the season one field pass was, but it's a little bit different in some aspects. Now we gotta get more points here, which oh it actually brings you to your daily goals. That's a little bit helpful. That is nice. Okay. So each of these unlock with 200, which is good and all. I'm going to hopefully not spend mana cash, but get mana cash on this. But yeah, you get your decent uh, rewards throughout the free section, the VIP section as well. If you guys do go ahead and purchase it, you don't need to, obviously. But if you want to, go ahead. Oh, that's why it's more than 27,000 points. It's 43,000 points, which is okay, I guess. Because at 27,000, you do get your iconic player select. If you want coins, you keep on continuing, which is good news because... I hit 27,000 and I had like a week plus uh, to go ahead and, you know, get more points. But there was nothing else to claim because it was stopped at 27,000. So, you know what? I'll claim my extra coins once I hit that point, which is pretty nice. If you do, you get a bunch of uh, plus packs if you spent, you know, on the VIP and stuff, which I guess is okay. Uh, daily, we'll claim that right there. It's very, it's very interesting. It's not bad. We got to see the events though, right? Is there an event? Oh, yeah, it's in the bottom here. So we got this, which we can claim these, and they just go straight to the folder. I wish you could just open them straight away. And then we got the players. Oh, yeah, Winfield Jr. You guys need three of his epics, and then one of the uh, epics, which it shows you what you need, and then one of the other one. It doesn't need three, three. Um, unless that, that was the same thing. I don't really remember the first season one field pass. I think that's kind of bad that I don't remember the first one. I really didn't like it as much, so I didn't really complete the trades. But yeah, this is not that bad. We got the journey here, which let's see what we get throughout the journey. So I'm a 3,260 overall, and I'm looking to actually up that 
with boost soon because i really want to try to get some stuff so you get all pro pack for the first one you get 25 madden cash you get feel fear pack i'll take that uh all pro pack get 50 cash and then you get a feel fear plus pack was that okay not bad and then you get feel fear power pack looks like you just get packs and cash and packs and cash i do like the art on the background that's pretty cool we got a rare player right there and then 250 cash so oh wow okay it stops us right here so we can only get up to a rare player with all those packs and cash which i guess is okay but let's continue this if we wanted to play we need to be at 3935 overall okay and that's only the full bag which is not that great the field pass honestly with the player selections they have done wasn't the favorite of mine to be fair and i don't think a lot of people really liked it i know ray lewis is not that bad but it's kind of hard to complete his uh you know trade in a way but i guess it's okay so if we go to the ray lewis let's go down to his right here he's 159 he does need uh four rares two epics and then six 132 over iconic players of any sort of the season two team of the week and or whatever else that is so yeah it does need that though which is kind of annoying in a way but yeah uh i can claim this field of fear pack i'll take that let's open this right now see what's inside this is what i'll get throughout the journey if i go ahead and complete the journey i did i get lucky 97 rare i'll take that though and then we have to go back to my team because i do have packs saved uh right here into my uh unclaimed let's select these open these hopefully getting maybe rare okay uncommon i'll take that not bad and okay yeah uh, kind of expected just to get the uncommons to be fair if we go back to play now we got the journey and then store i wanted to check store before i go into the journey so store yep 30 little calendar calendars now i, I don't, don't think it was that much usually but okay i do like to get the hundreds uh man cash 85 plus every single day just because you need to spend 100 cash every day for your daily goals so i just go back here and then I claim 20 cash. But knowing I spent 100 cash, now I only have to do these goals. And then I'll get 150 back. Which means I just get my mana cash back plus an extra 50. Which I'll take. And then, yeah, I gotta I gotta do it on my own time and grind throughout this game. Just get up uh, the field pass points. But I'll take my 5,000 coins. Take my 25 cash. And then journey continues. So, I'm basically gonna have to grind throughout this journey. You guys see what I get. I get packs, cash, and just a little bit of stuff to help me throughout the field of fear which is not that bad honestly it really isn't so yeah it just i don't like the cap of overall how it stops you like at, at a certain point like with your overall so i'm at 3260 so i get stopped right here on this rare player and i can't continue like i can't get this 250 cash i can't get this epic pack and i can't get this banner but i'm pretty sure that's 500 cash that's nice I'm pretty sure that if I use boost, I can go ahead and get um, up further, which I'm hoping to do that. I'm going to grind it out all today because it doesn't use stamina and stuff, but I need to get up my coins a little bit, uh, and I do also need to go ahead and activate my boost. I think I have enough weights. I don't know if I do, but I think I do. I'm going to have to play throughout this smart. So I have 2,784 weights, 67,000 coins. So if I wanted to get a decent amount, I think I would have to go like six. No, that's that might be too much. I might have to go 5% for each, but I don't even know if that's too much. I kind of want to keep saving up just to see if I can go up further in the um, field pass in a way throughout journey. Um, but yeah, I don't know if they actually change the events you play. I guess they might have i don't i don't know they were talking about changing like the certain events like the drills you go ahead and play throughout when you uh, play the game which if they did that's pretty cool if we still have the same ones i guess we still have the same ones this is rushing with 40 yards which is not that bad it's one of the easiest ones if you you know get it first try okay like come on like we're we're, we're like a 3200 we're playing against a 1000 something overall and we're and they're making tackles out here that's very weird that is very weird. Like, I really wish it was more, like, of an easier... Okay, boom, boom. Okay, once you get to the higher overalls, it gets a little bit harder. But I just wanted to do this one play. Maybe you guys did it one play. I have no clue. We got it right there, which is all good. I'll take my all pearl pack. Hey, if you pull an iconic 
or even an epic out of these all pro packs or any of these packs like that's a plus we got a rare and uncommon i'll take that for sure next will be 25 cash and then fill the fair pack i kind of want to just grind throughout this for you guys but to be fair i don't know if you guys would be interested in watching the rest of this so i'm gonna play this last um event and then basically ended off here feel the fear fuel pass is not that bad i do love the halloween theme just to get players is kind of a little uh a stretch in a way like they kind of limit it but it is four weeks long so you guys will be able to go ahead and grind through the whole entire field of fear fuel pass in time you'll be able to complete that free section if you uh you know are playing every single day and doing all of your daily goals that is 100 percent doable it's 100 percent possible and you guys can go ahead and achieve that for sure so yeah um i'm gonna go ahead and grind throughout the field pass on my own time when i do go ahead and get to the end of the field pass i'll make a video claiming my select pack and all that but yeah uh that 117 we did get was actually pretty uh nice to be fair i'm just so glad i didn't get a 113 or any you know duplicate it is a plus at the end of the day but honestly feel the fear not that bad i would give it a solid i would say eight out of ten at least I don't know if it should go into the 7 out of 10 like kind of range only because I do like the theme of it. Halloween is always like one of the best themed promos uh, with the art and stuff. But yeah, if you guys want to go ahead and get one of these iconics, uh, one of the 132s, all you guys are going to need to do is get the epics to do that. All you have to do is get uncommons and rare. So you play throughout journey, you complete the field pass, then you go ahead and hopefully get these one uh 32s towards uh basically maybe the middle to the end of the field pass something in between those lines but yeah i think i checked everything in the store so yeah yep that's pretty much it well i hope you guys did enjoy that's gonna do it for this one and make sure you guys drop a like in the video i'll catch you guys in the next one peace